I'm going to share with you how you can fix your bandsaw and save a little bit of money in between. Let's jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you the solution I 3D printed for my desktop bandsaw. Now, for those not familiar with the bandsaw or how it operates, it basically has two pulleys, a bottom one and a top one above. Now, I decided to show this one so you can easily see the wheel, which is what we're going to talk about. Because typically what happens over this wheel is you have a harder rubber, uh, what they refer to again as a wheel that goes on here. And what happens is, as you can see from the wear on this particular one, this is what the belt rides on. And it, it keeps it running straight. And again, you tram this up with a setting up above and everything else. However, what happened, this thing's like, you know, over a decade old and this rubber belt uh, or wheel has given up the ghost. And so I went looking for them and I really couldn't find a replacement and some that I thought might work were like 30 or $40. Now, I typically use this bandsaw for cutting metal and uh, plastic for my CNC. Really doesn't see any use on wood and it's really handy. Uh, but again, I didn't want to get off the 30 bucks and it was from some strange place on the internet. I didn't know the return policy if it didn't fit. So what I decided to do instead is I said, heck, this is nothing but hard rubber. Why don't I design something up in Fusion 360 and print it out of TPU, which is exactly what I did. Now, as you can see here, the red wheel. Now, I did this in red. I typically would have probably used clear or black just for aesthetic purposes. But since I was going to make this video and I had red, I decided to use it so you can see it uh, much better. And what happens is, is, again, the belt rides on this, and I measured up this pulley. Now, one of the things to keep in mind, if you have one of these, uh, there is like a little bit of a lip on mine that keeps this um, wheel in between the two lips on this uh, pulley. And so getting it on here is a little bit tough. You really, really have to stretch it. That's why I didn't show me installing it because I invented a few swear words in between. Uh, but it does go on there. And again, you basically just have to put, put it on, use a screwdriver to kind of pry it around. If you've ever put any belts or things on cars, you kind of know how this works. Uh, but anyway, so far it's been doing really good for me. So I've used it a couple times already, wanted to test it out before I did this video. And uh, hey, it's worked out pretty good. So I've been kind of impressed with this. So one of the things I'd like to know from you guys is, okay, I've shared this application with you. Have you found other applications for 3D printing for tools like this in your shop? I'd really like if you shared down below. I'd be interested in seeing those, and I think it'd be good to share them with the community. With that being said, I'll have these out on Thingiverse along with the machine model, as well as my mini factory and probably a couple other places. Again, the links will be down below. So I'll have the links to this out on Thingiverse, so it'll save you the headache from having to do all this measuring if you have a similar machine. Now, uh, they have, I know they made this with, you know, different brandings on it. This one particularly is a Delta, and I know there's, I think a Ryobi and maybe a couple other ones of the same design that's uh, branded differently. So these should work on this. Now, the other thing you can do, if it doesn't work on your machine, uh, because this is, again, a pretty tight fit, there's a couple things you can do. You can rescale it a bit in the slicer. You can use a heat gun to stretch it out a little bit if it's too small. But keep in mind, you do want this tight. This is very, very tight on here. Uh, I printed this also on my CR10. So I printed it out as you know one perfect or as perfect circle as you can. I've seen other guys on 8x8 or 8 inch by 8 inch 200 by 200 printers uh, actually fold the model. Uh, I didn't want to go through all that math. I was a little bit lazy. So in Fusion I just made a circle, you know the outer diameter, punched out an inner circle and called it done, printed it out on the uh, CR10 with the 12 by 12 bit, fit perfectly, and boom, Bob's your uncle here. So again, share with me what you guys have done because I'd like to hear from you guys. And uh, hey, don't forget, Swag Shop's up in the corner, subscribe over there, and we'll catch you in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.